Hello and welcome to the Bigger, Faster, Stronger Set Rep Log Online tutorial for coaches. If you haven't already, we recommend that you go back and watch the uh, tutorial for administrators, which covers how to get the accounts set up, how to add other coaches and athletes. Uh, we'll cover some of that here as well. Uh, also, if you are signing up as a coach and you are not the administrator, you will receive an email that will uh, give you a link. The email will look something like this that will show uh, hello at your name. You're invited to activate your account at bfssetreplog.com. You'll click accept the invitation. Now, if you don't get this email and the administrator has said that you have, one of the things that you may want to check is your spam folder. Make sure it didn't get stuck in there. Uh, and we are fixing things on our end. We apologize if that went into your spam folder, but that is one place to look just to check and make sure. Uh, so if, if the administrator is saying that they've sent it, or if you are the administrator and you've added yourself and you've yet to receive that email, it could be one of two things. The first thing is, is that you're already in the system. So you don't need to add your email more than once. The uh, second thing is, is that if you haven't added yourself before, it may be in your spam folder. So that's something that you'll want to check. Uh, we're working on getting that fixed and, and uh, apologize for the inconvenience. But either way, uh, you'll hit accept invitation, which will take you to a page to designate your password. Once you've entered that in, it will take you directly to your dashboard. And then from that point forward, you will just log on as uh, you're familiar with and, and pretty much every other account that, that you, you likely have and hit sign in. Now this dashboard, it looks like it's, uh, it's the home page again, only now here you will see uh, you have your own personal uh, profile. You can go on and edit your profile. Uh, Coach Hendrickson, you can uh, put in your graduation year. And the reason why it's configured for coaches even to put in things like this is it may be that you're uh, buying this product for yourself as a high school athlete or as an individual uh, you may have gone through the total program before uh, you've since graduated or uh, moved to somewhere that doesn't have the total program this is a great tool for you to continue uh, the total program on your own what you would do is you would actually be all three roles uh, so the administrator role which we discussed in the previous tutorial You'd also be the coach of the team, uh, and we will discuss why you would want to you, you would want to designate that. And then also, uh, you are the athlete or the person who's actually recording uh, the lifts for yourself. So that's why uh, this is set up here so that you can do that. Set your own avatar, do uh, whatever it is that you want. Uh, if you don't want to change your password, you just leave it blank and hit update. Now we didn't change anything, uh, so that's why we're getting this error. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just click Home, Dashboards. Now as I addressed before, I'm here as the admin, so I have that ability to toggle between both for convenience. For this tutorial, we are just going to go on as a coach. Now the first thing I'm going to notice is that my administrator was at my workout previously earlier today and uh, just gave me a shout out. Hey coach, great job in today's workout. Make sure your athletes remember the main thing is to be breaking records every day. Great work. Now, uh, right now I'm on as a coach, but I don't have any teams. And that's because in the administrative, uh, yeah, back on the administrative side of things, we showed you how to delete those teams. So if you are an administrator, this will be a good review. We'll click back, toggle over. Now here's the message that I, I sent. Because I'm the same person, it shows that I have this same message. I sent the message to myself back in the last video. We'll want to go ahead and add a new team. The last time we did a football team, this time we're going to choose a baseball off-season workout. Uh, men's baseball and we are going to add ourselves as the coach again if you don't have uh, the coach already in the system you can also create a new user account put in their first and last name as well as their emails and they will get the invite email that we addressed before so this email will come to them that's when you send this to them 
But since we're already in, we will hit Coach Hendrickson, save. And if we go onto my Coach dashboard, we should see it, and we do. It's right here on the left side under Teams. So you as the coach will actually enter it here. Now, as we go on, we see that we are the only coach here. Now, let's say we want to add an athlete. Our athletes are going to be populated under this gray bar here. Now, once we have a large list of athletes, we can find an athlete by putting in their first or last name, and it will narrow down those with that last name. But for right now, we just have one, and we're going to add Marshall Hendrickson. And again, same with adding a coach. If you don't have their user account already set up, first name, last name, and email, and that will send them the account. Now, you will likely get uh, athletes who do not currently have email accounts. Uh, that is a requirement uh, to make the system work, uh, to get the invite. Uh, it's the only way to add an athlete. Um, so we've had some athletes. I run this program uh, at uh, a high school here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and that's something when we were getting them started, a lot of the kids, uh, they don't use email anymore. So that's something that you may have to address, have them uh, create their own email account. But in this case, we already have Marshall Hendrickson here as an athlete in the account. You'll run into this a lot of the time if they're if they are uh, repeating for a second year, or if they're coming into our baseball team uh, from another sport, then we can go ahead and add them. And I'll show you how that we will do that. But we hit the add, and here we are, uh, Marshall Hendrickson. Now, if we want to go in and see what information we have here, we can see that uh, in the previous tutorial, we added some of these teams. We've since deleted them. Um, but it shows a history of what teams I've been on uh, as, as an athlete. Uh, so the coach can see that. Wants to go, you'll want to go down here and make sure that your team is the primary team. So baseball, off season, and hit update there to make sure that that is all set. The next thing that you'll want to do is make sure that, uh, and when we start uh, a new athlete in the system, it will automatically take them to the readiness program. And for more information on the readiness program, go to biggerfasterstronger.com or contact your representative uh, for more information about the benefits of starting with the readiness program to, to get all set before you get into the total program. I highly recommend it. It's benefited our kids uh, greatly to get through the readiness program uh, and it really gets them in a good position to start breaking records every day and to get the most success uh, out of their out of their lifting and, and uh, improvement and, and preparation but we have already done that and we are in the total program here now right here we've got the lifts and as we described here uh, we're looking at this athlete's uh, particular lifts. We haven't entered any lifts yet. We'll cover that in the athlete tutorial, uh, but they are available here. And if we were to want to see what they've entered, uh, what Marshall's entered uh, for his bench press, we're able to do that. We can even click on a chart, and this would uh, allow you to see weight lifted over time, uh, and it should show you an upward trending graph records as well. Currently what your rep records and your total weight records are for this lift. And then also your performance drills. So in terms of weight, vertical jump, standing long jump, sit and reach, the BFS dot drill, all of these things can be recorded. We'll cover that in the athlete tutorial, but a coach can access that. An admin can, can access it as well. Uh, but the coach is going to, to want to be uh, particularly interested in that. Uh, a big thing is, is making sure that they record their lifts every day. Every time you test a performance record, it's here ready for you uh, to view. A great tool for grading as well. If, if there's a grade attached to this lifting, that you can have it right here uh, for your review.
So we will go back to our dashboard as a coach. And we have our team here. Now the one thing that I want to do is go through and see we've got our settings here as baseball. I want to change it to Skyline High School Baseball Varsity. And I want to hit save. And you will see that now it shows up as a more personalized name and I can name it anything I want. Goals are available here if you want to add certain goals for your team. For example, no, no tardies to team workouts. You can set that here and that will show up as a goal for all of your athletes. Uh, and that incorporates the VFS system uh, and the various goals that, that you have for your team. You can record them here so that they see them and they have access to them every day. The other thing that you do is, is go on and select lifts. Now the lifts on the, with the gray rows, the darker gray, those are your core lifts, the auxiliary lifts, the additional lifts you do, sports specific lifts that, that BFS recommends, they are here. You can also add lifts additional to that. We'll leave that alone uh, for now. But what you can do is select uh, the lift and the day you want it to be done on. So if we want box squat and towel bench on day one, and let's say the next time we will lift is on Wednesday, so we set the next core lift here, and then Friday we will be doing these core lifts, and then we can assign accordingly the, the correct auxiliary lifts. Let's say we, excuse me, here Wednesday, and then Friday uh, for these, then we have the ability to do that. I'll do three auxiliary, two on Monday, two on Wednesday, and three on Friday. And as we set that up that way, and when we get into the athlete tutorial, you'll see where that is a benefit. We've saved it. Now we can go back to our team. We can send a message to all of our athletes, all of our coaches, any team members or individual coaches or athletes. And that message will show up on their dashboard. And uh, if, for example, if it's an athlete, it will show up on the athlete's dashboard. We'll go back to the coach. The final thing I just wanted to uh, address is your ability to add a coach as well which is the exact same system here. So if you wanted to add Marshall Hendrickson also as a coach, you can. And now they are here. Marshall Hendrickson, if you were to click on his, especially out here and you hit all users, you can see that Marshall Hendrickson now is a coach and an athlete. Uh, so that wraps up uh, the basics of the coach aspect of the BFS at RepLog Online. Uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, as to what we can provide to you uh, more efficiently or things that you'd like to have on here, uh, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-628-9737 or email us at info at bfsetreplog.com. Uh, we will see you in the next tutorial where we will address athletes. Thank you.